What's up guys, Magic TK here, bringing you guys a very, very requested tutorial. Now I'm going to be showing you guys this really cool form I used. I used it in this intro. I used it in my community montage. I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, so as you can see right here in my community montage, I used it as well. It looks really, really nice with the character in the red and how I track the flare and everything in my opinion. This is one of my very favorite scenes from the community montage. So obviously it's going to be very highly requested as a tutorial. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First of all, how can I start this off is create a new solid. Let's title this form, that's what I like to use. You can name it, whatever you want though, it doesn't matter. So trap code form is actually a third party plugin and you're gonna need to buy that or download it however you please. So anyways, go do that if you please, but. So anyways, if you don't have it, you guys are gonna have to go get it some way or another. So first of all, you guys are gonna wanna do is mess around this was 640 or something i can't even remember but anyways change the first of all change the base form from box to strings and then i have to make this around 1000 it doesn't really matter not 100 1000 um a couple more settings to change basically all this is going to be is just me messing around with the settings within form to create a really sick effect so make this streaklet ah it's starting to get laggy should probably put this on half here. Ah, this is getting bad. All right, strings in Y. Let's put it around eight-ish. And then strings in Z one. There we go. That's a lot faster. So, as we can see, we have these cool lines right here. And what I like to always start off with is just going to the fractal field and then displace it. So, you get this really cool warpy effect. It's really really nice. So a few more settings you want to mess around with. It's in the base form. I'm um, pretty sure this is about it. In the string settings, actually, we can make this about one, two, not twenty, and then density like thirty. And then in the particle, you want to change the color to I don't know. You can you, your color can be whatever you want. I'm gonna do like a nice light blue though. It's pretty nice. And we can make the size about I don't know ten. Let's see if ten looks good. Let's go like seven. Yeah, that's nice. So, um, now that we're done with particle, let's move on. Shading doesn't really do anything. That's just exactly what it sounds like. Quick, ma quick maps. Pretty much what this is is if, uh, if you guys watched my plus tutorial, how I did the rainbow. This is pretty much the exact same thing. You can create different colors for the text. And as you can saw in the intro, I showed you for Zalu or Zahulu is actually his real name. Um. Yeah, it was all colorful and nice and pretty. So this is how you would do that with quick maps. Uh, layer maps is the same thing. Audio react. I could do a separate tutorial on this. But it's exactly what it sounds like. How the form reacts to audio layers. So that's actually really, really cool. Now, disperse and twist. Finally, something we're going to mess around with. Twist. I wouldn't do disperse. Because this just disperses them. And it doesn't look very nice in my opinion. But the twist is really, really cool. So it actually... Uh, twist it along the edges so I want to make this about uh, I don't know let's say seven let's go like nine that's pretty cool um, another cool setting if I can even find it anywhere who knows if I'll be able to I was looking at it before though oh, right here so we want to taper the opacity to smooth and that basically does this cool effect but I don't know that's optional I'm gonna leave it off for now so, Kaleidoscope is this is where all the magic comes in, the talks magic comes in actually. So we want to set this to vertical. You can set it to horizontal and vertical too, which looks really, really nice as well. I like this effect a lot actually. But for now, we're just going to use vertical. Um, alright, what else do we need to use? Okay, this is, we're getting to the end of the tutorial. This is pretty much it. This is all that we've really done. But, okay, spherical field. So sphere one. You can use copy these settings, this is really isn't too important. I normally like to go strength about 100, then radius about like 150, let's say. So now we got this sphere that's interfering, let's actually go about 120. And then, in the sphere 2, let's make it negative 100. And then make the radius like 130. Maybe like 160. That looks really nice. So, as you can see, everything's just like focused in the middle. You can mess around with these things too. Let's go like 110. So, yeah, everything's just focused in the middle now. It looks really, really nice. 
Also in Fractal Field, uh, you want to change the Flow X. This is where all the magic happens. This is cool animations that you get when you preview it, like because everything looks like it's either going to the middle or going away from the middle if you're negative. So that looks really, really nice. Another cool thing, you wouldn't want to apply this to the form layer directly, but you could do like a CC lens on your layer in general and warp the edges. Something like that would look really cool. Anyways, you don't have to use that, that's just a suggestion if you guys want to mess around. Bringing new, ide bringing new ideas to light. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Like I said, what you guys want to do is just take everything I've taught you and just mess around with completely, com create something that's completely your own, completely original, something that looks insane, and you've done it all by yourself. Because if your thing looks exactly like mine, then it's going to look kind of cheap, kind of unfair, and look it's going to look like you just copied me. So, make sure you guys are using your own stuff. I'm not even just saying that so that uh, nobody copies me, but it'll look so much better if it's your own creative effects, and that comes from the heart, I'm just saying that. So yeah, this looks pretty cool what we've created so far. Obviously, it's not exactly like what I've showed you, but it's pretty similar. You guys can mess around to create whatever you want. You can even mess around with like the rotation. If you wanted to create like an effect like that, looks really cool. And all this stuff is animatable too, so like you could keyframe the next rotation if my computer even lets me. And then down here we can make it like 200 so that it'll go and it'll have really cool rotation animation. It'll look really, really nice. And last thing before I go, this tutorial is almost over. Form, since Form is a 3D pl plugin, you can just create a camera and you can track the camera first of all if you wanted to. And then the camera will actually work with Form. So if we take our camera tool and we rotate it, as you can see, form interacts with the 3D layouts and the camera and all of that. So we can do some really cool stuff. This could be like a laser beam or something. Like, look how cool this looks. This looks really, really nice. How it rotates around it all. But anyways, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys can screw around, mess about, and create something really, really sick for yourselves. If you guys think you've created something cool, make sure to send it to me on Twitter. I'll retweet it if I like it, stuff like that. But that's about it for this tutorial. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this is a very highly requested one. So leave a like if you did. I would deeply appreciate it. But anyways, that's about it. I'm, uh, but anyways, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.